Hey, this is Jonas from the Maxon Training Team and in this Cinema 4D quick tip I want to show you something that has been added in Cinema 4D 2023.1 and that is that you can now add tags to any palette and this means that you can create yourself quick access to your most frequently used tags. Let me show you how you can do this. First, you have to right click any of the palettes and go to customize palettes. And now all of the palettes are in edit mode and the command manager has been opened. Now let's click new palette and let's add some tags here into the palette. I want to start with the target tag because I'm using it quite often. So I'm going to search for it here and this is the target tag that we can add here simply by dragging and dropping it. You can also, if you want to add more tags of this menu, right click any of these objects here, then go to the menu and click this double dotted line here to detach that submenu and now we can just drag and drop more tags into our new palette like the align to spline and the vibrate tag those are also tags that i use quite often now let's add some tags of other menus as well so i'm gonna open this up again this time i go to programming tags and i add an espresso tag and also a user data tag and then i close this and I go to simulation tags and add a few tags from here, like cloth, rope, a collider, and maybe a pyro tag. And now I'm already pretty happy here. I just wanna add some separators to this palette for better orientation. So let me create a group separator here. And let's also create an icon separator, which is a little bit smaller here between the pyro tag and the collider and also another group separator here. And now I'm happy with my palette. I'm just going to right click, go to icon size and go with medium size. And then I drag and drop this double dotted line here again. And I place this palette here. All right, now I can close the command manager and I have my icons here for quick access. Now I can just click my quick access buttons to the tags and you can see that the tags have been added to the object. And of course, when you want to save this to your layout, you can always go to Window Customization and either save it as Startup Layout or Save Layout As. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, and subscribe.